What is up you guys? For this workout, we are gonna be focusing on abs and some booty. So you're gonna need a band for this workout. And we're gonna start off with a little knee abduction with a reach crunch. So you're gonna actually feel this one in your glutes, in your abs, and then into your triceps just a little bit because you wanna extend those hands to reach above the knees and squeeze the back of your arms as you reach. So reaching, squeezing the triceps in the back of the arms and then pulsing the knees out to feel those glutes. You're gonna finish here with a nice little pulse, pulse, pulse out from the band right into those booty muscles. Next up, we're gonna do a leg extension with a hip pop. So this is kind of like a bicycle crunch. You're gonna extend the heel all the way down to the floor, feeling the abs tighten, and then you're gonna pop the hips, feeling it go right into the lower part of your abdomen. You wanna keep going for as long as you can and really, really feel the burn starting to engage all through the midsection, heating up your body, getting that blood flowing. Next up, you are going to do a around the world frog kick. So you're gonna press out against those knees and then extend the feet straight out, pull the knees in together and pop the hips slightly as you bring them towards the chest. Once again, focusing on those abs, feeling it a little bit through the glutes. Next up, we're going to do a kickback with a knee driver across the body. So you want the knee to drive to the opposite elbow and then you're gonna pulse, pulse, pulse into that glute, keeping your core nice and tight the whole time. And then you're gonna go right into the other side. Next up, you're gonna move your band towards the shins, so a little bit lower, and bring the feet straight up like a little V-tuck, pulsing the feet out, and then dropping the heels down to the floor. So once again, using all your abs here and then pulsing out using those glutes as you pulse. These ones are super fun and really hard. Make sure you go at a nice tempo. Then you're gonna drop the feet down to the floor and you're gonna do a heel tap out, abducting the legs and then crunch the knees into the chest. So abduct one way, abduct the other way and then crunch in. Next up, we have a pulse out and then pulse down. You'll really, really feel these ones going into your hip flexors and into those quads, right into those low abs. Same thing, make sure you keep a nice pace here and keep the band nice and tight, never letting it lose its resistance. So you're never bringing the legs close enough together for the band to lose any resistance. Next up, we're gonna go right into a frogger pump. So you wanna have the heels together and feet flipped towards one another and then knees go out wide. We're gonna do a nice little hold right into a pulse. So see how I'm not letting my glutes come all the way down to tap the floor, I'm keeping them extended up. So you're keeping the tension into those glutes and into those inner thighs. And once again, you're gonna hold, squeeze it nice and hard, pulse again, pulse, pulse, pulse. And then eventually you're gonna drop it all the way down and squeeze it all the way back up. So you'll feel the tension building with the pulsing and then you're just gonna drive it home with the thrusts. Here I've done just a fully down frogger pump abduction and then right into a leg raise with a side crunch. For these ones, once again, you wanna make sure that band never loses resistance. Keep the legs far enough apart so you can constantly feel that contraction happening in your glutes. Right into a side plank hold and you wanna hold the feet up against the band and breathe. These ones are so hard to finish off on. You will feel those through the glutes and into those obliques. Such a good move, as you can see, I'm feeling it. And then boom, right into the other side for the leg raise and side crunch on the other side. So once again, you wanna have your whole body lying flat on the side, keep the tension in the band, and then just do a nice little side crunch, putting, pushing the upper body up, driving the elbow towards the thigh. Next up, we have a lying flat cross crunch. So you're just gonna reach opposite hand, past the opposite leg, just bringing the shoulder blades up so you feel it deep right down into the center of your core. After you do a couple of these, start to really feel it through that center. You're gonna make it turn up a little notch here and bring your whole body up to twist. 
So you want to use a little momentum as you swing your leg towards your chest and then twist your body so you reach both your arms across to the side, really feeling it in those obliques. Next up, we're going to do a bent leg windshield wiper. So you want to let your knees drop down to the side and then pop the knees up into the chest as you fling and switch it over to the other side. These ones really start to burn. Make sure you're doing the little hip pop in between side to side and make sure you're breathing the whole time. Next up, we are going to go into a straight leg windshield wiper. So once again, you want to let your feet fall all the way to the side and then bring it back over to the other side. We're going to add a double hip pop in between before going back around to windshield wiper each side. So windshield wiper each way, double hip pop in the middle, and then boom, back to the windshield wipers. These ones really, really start to burn. Make sure you're just going really nice, slow, and controlled so you feel the contraction and can keep your core nice and tight the whole time. There's no point in rushing through anything and not feeling your core and your abs working. That is the whole point. So I do really recommend going nice and slow, nice and controlled, feeling for each contraction and working your booty off. And last one we're gonna finish off with is a slow leg lower to flutter kick with a little hip pop in between. So flutter, flutter, flutter kick, rock those feet up, pop the hips, and then go back down. As you can see, I am done. So I hope you enjoyed this workout. Get it rock.